Scientists have discovered a place deeper than the Mariana Trench. What's hiding there? Why has the world's biggest space agency decided to go underwater? It turns out that this challenging task requires using the newest knowledge and technologies. So I'm just going to say, first of all, I have not heard that there has been a place discovered deeper than the Mariana Trench. And I feel like that would be something newsworthy that I would have heard about. But hey, let's hear them out. In this video, you'll find out what challenges is NASA gearing up to face deep under the sea? How can James Cameron help us find extraterrestrial life? And why <laughs> what? does the ocean remain the most significant mystery known to humankind? <laughs> Wait, the other two things are, you know, why is NASA investigating the sea? Why is, you know, James Cameron going to help us find extraterrestrial life? <laughs> How deep can a human dive into the ocean? Probes are a must when exploring outer space, as we can't go there ourselves. What does this have but to do with the ocean? Is a, a different deeper story. place. It's very far away, even from the first layer called the epipelagic zone. What does this have its to do with anything? Lies at a depth of 200 meters. This is Ahmed Gaber, and he has broken a record for the deepest scuba dive at a stunning 332 meters. This means he reached the mesopelagic, also known as the midnight zone. They've adapted to semi-darkness thanks to their big eyes and bioluminescence. And what's more, this place is where 90% of all fish can be found. And that's around This is not where you're going to find those deep sea things. This is not deep sea. This is like middle to high sea. This is like lanternfish bristlenose territory, not the fucking alien deep sea zone, anglerfish Tons. zone. The population of creepy cyclothone alone stands at one quadrillion fish. <laughs> you say thone but alone? It's just the tip of the iceberg. Since one quadrillion fish? Now hold on, on a minute. When we were taking that kahoot, we said that 2.5 trillion seemed excessive. You're telling me there are one quadrillion fish in the mesopelagic? How do we reach the dark Boat. and cold ocean floor if even submarines can't do that? The deepest point is located beneath the western Pacific Ocean. It's the Mariana Trench. It's what? He just said that the deepest point is in the Mariana Trench. Why is the title of this video, Scientists Have Discovered a Place Deeper Than the Mariana Trench? Where? It's called the Challenger. This is the only reason I clicked on it. It has a depth of 11,034 meters. The only piloted submersible that had ever been there before was Trieste. In 1960, this bathyscaphe carrying Lieutenant Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, an engineer, became the first vehicle in history to descend to the ocean floor. Since then, 13 more people Still have fucking repeated. crazy that they did that in 1960 without the ability to, you know, even really record what was down there. So they were just like risking becoming human smoothie just to see it. I mean, I guess it's respectable, but with that technology, it's still crazy that they did that shit. The deepest region of the ocean is called the Hadal Zone. It stretches from the six kilometer point down I've to the I've never heard someone say Hadal. Of, they can descend to the maximum depths and stay there for a long time while receiving commands via long cables. But even they sometimes fail to withstand severe conditions specific to the <laughs> ocean floor. I feel In like this ways, person has no actual concept or this scriptwriter has no actual concept of what is located where in the ocean they just kind of like show videos of fish that are like up in the shallows and then down in like the very deep and then somewhere in between while they're talking about the various zones why are extraterrestrial oceans much more mysterious than our own the surface what? of europa jupiter how did we get here what does this have to do with there being a deeper place than mariana trench what does this have to do with anything why are we talking about europa this kind of life might be similar to that existing in the deep waters of earth what? Furthermore, Enceladus, Saturn's satellite, may also be habitable. What? From time to time, steam jets... W okay. <laughs> We're talking about the habitable moons of Saturn in a video at a place deeper than the Mariana Trench. Wait, is he going to say that there's a deeper place in the Mariana Trench on Saturn's moon? Should I expect this video to have absolutely nothing to do with the title? Because so far... But the ocean of Enceladus must be around 30 kilometers deep. While on Europa, the waters must be as much as from 60 to 150 kilometers deep. That's 15 times more than what we have here on Earth. Okay, what can so fair enough. 
the video isn't isn't it it's misleading because i thought it was going to be an hour ocean and they had found a new deep spot but sure there's a fucking moon in our solar system that has a deeper ocean than us i guess what's hiding there nothing literally nothing Barotrauma is what's hiding there. Such a mission requires serious preparations, and that's why NASA has started practicing deep diving on Earth. That's not why. So how is the NASA just does science stuff? NASA is not diving into the America or the Earth's oceans to practice going deep in the ocean of Europa. That's not something that we're planning on doing. Around 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. No These way. ocean parts are called the bathypelagic and abyssopelagic, or the midnight zone and the abyss. Didn't he I, say that the one above it, what, didn't he say the mesopelagic was the, oh, he maybe said twilight zone. I think he said the mesopelagic was the midnight zone. Now he said that one's the midnight zone. Least specialized species resistant to high pressure, like for example, a tripod fish or a deep sea angler fish are just a small part of the deep sea world we've managed to discover. <laughs> he Given said zero midnight, visibility, okay. the research is basically done by oh, groping around in the darkness. They've created an underwater drone called Orpheus to fill in the blanks on ocean maps. It's equipped with high sensitivity cameras and sensors that had been previously installed on the Perseverance Mars rover and can examine rocks, shells, living organisms, and create 3D maps of the bottom areas. The relatively small probe weighs deep. 250 kilograms and is made of syntactic foam, a floating composite material. Why does this person think that everything NASA is doing has has to have something to do with space. Doesn't NASA like fund like basically backyard science projects, but they're not allowed to explore the ocean? With I guess it means that we're gonna witness mysterious creatures getting discovered very soon. Does it? Who knows how many of them lurk in the obscure world of the oceans? And who knows what <laughs> else we can find in the abyss? Perhaps a huge prehistoric shark that crashes our probes. Classic. Or maybe Atlantean citizens. Yeah, perhaps there's a big prehistoric shark down there. <laughs> are behind that because they hate seeing our machines polluting their secret city. Or could it be aliens doing their best to stay unnoticed? No way. Anyway, drop a comment and tell us what you expect. Yeah, that's what's most likely. Yeah. As we continue to explore the deepest part of Earth with the most pressure, the most inhospitable environment, we probably won't find like tiny microorganisms or snailfish or anything like that. We'll probably find prehistoric sharks or aliens. <laughs> Back to find on the ocean floor. But remember, if you gaze long enough into an abyss, the abyss what will come back to you. What is SpongeBob doing down there? What also, check out my other videos. No, I won't. What did that have to do with anything? That was a bad video for 900,000 views. That got more views than almost anything I've done. If you exclude my Megalodon, my first video, this has gotten more views than anything I've ever done. That's upsetting. Whoa.